How far have we traveled? Uh, I know. 70 that. miles today. 70 miles. Where did you guys start? We started at Paso Robles and went to Morro Bay and had lunch. From Morro Salinas. Bay. What do you think of this town of Templeton? Beautiful. Beautiful. Really this is what we like, old stuff. Yep. Oh. And what does the dog have to say? She's glad she has her sunglasses on. You look like you know what you're doing. What are we doing here? <laughs> uh, well, uh, we have the Horses Carriage Club. Uh, I, I, I don't know where even where they're from, Southern California. And they've come to town today to visit our museum. And so we're kind of having an open house. Uh, this is the blacksmith shop. We're the original blacksmith from uh, 1918. The original shop is here. And then uh, Bob Tulick uh, Sr. built the bigger building that we see here. And this is where the Templeton uh, Museum stores their vehicles. The museum is open uh, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays from 1 to 4. Uh, this building here, because of all the stuff that's in it, is not normally open to the public. But if you come down and you talk to individual docents, they'll usually bring you over here and see it. Uh, but because of all the stuff that goes on in here, and it's, uh, it's not handicap accessible, all those different things, uh, it's not normally open to the public. Uh, my name is Rod Hewitt. Um, my family has the hardware store in Templeton. I've been there 500 times. Yeah. And my grandfather bought that in 1923. And so my dad decided to stay here and I worked there uh, until I retired. I'm very proud of my mom and dad. I'm proud of the whole community. I'm proud of the museum and uh, what, the, what the groups that preceded us did to, uh, to get all the items that are here. Otherwise, this stuff just disappears. Templeton's a great place to live. The community atmosphere is fantastic here. Uh, Templeton Proud is a good example to go on. You can go online. You can check out what Templeton's all about. Um, it's just it's just a great place. Even though it, it's grown exponentially since I moved here in 1976, uh, to most people it seems like a small town. Your top three favorite cars when you were in high school? Well, I had a, I had a '69 Mustang. Um, I'm a Ford guy, so I would uh, I, I always liked the the old Ford, uh, Ford Model A's, and uh, so probably like the. The GT500. <laughs> so what do you think about all this? This is great. We're having a great time. Lovely town you have here. And you came down from as far as? Well, past the Robles this morning, across the Rita, Santa Rita dirt road, into um, Morro Bay, and now we're here. Who was the driver? Yeah, probably went 50 miles an hour. What got me into this? I've always been into it. I started, I had a Model A when I was 12 years old. So, you know, you just sort of progress through the Model A's, then through the modern cars, and then regress back through the early cars again. And I'm proud of you that you brought your daughter, and she's a model. <laughs> she's a model, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you play along, and what do you get? Oh, yes. Here? The fun, enjoyment, comrade. Lots of good friends. Fun place. You get to talk to a lot of people. Yeah, we wouldn't have yeah. met you if we hadn't yes. been here. Yeah. Number Rolls one car made is a Rolls Royce Silver. <laughs> <laughs> I have two. You got two Rolls? Two. Oh, right. Silver Ghost. <laughs> probably the next best is probably a Bentley. Bentley, so we've got a Rolls and a Bentley. We're going to the top three cars in his opinion. So the Rolls and a Bentley. The top car here is obvious. It's, it's, a Pope Hartford. It's a Pope Hartford. And then the second is the Buick. Sure, my Buick. His Buick. Your Buick. And what do you have, young man? A 1910 Buick, not model, model 17. What do you have? The red one. Right around? Pope. Right in He's down that way. way. Down that so way. So how many guys are guarding? I uh, hope about 20. <laughs> uh, friends. Friends. <laughs> and I like cars. Uh, 56 Chevy, probably in high school. And did you did you get that car? You... No, I had a 55 Pontiac. Close again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm George Nichols, and I'm here because I work in the blacksmith shop once a week, and uh, we're building a 1925 Model T oh, okay. fire engine in the back. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's check his hands to see if he's a true butt. Yeah, he's a blacksmith. And you are, young man. I am Gary McPherson. I live here in Templeton. Uh, heard about this. And my friend George <laughs> is working here, so I get to see the cars and him, too. <laughs> the top three co favorite cars when you were in high school are? Uh, Corvette, uh, Pontiac GTO, 
and another Corvette. <laughs> this was in the 90s when you were in high school? No, oh. <laughs> I went. 1970 and a Tascadero High. I grew up here in Templeton, went to high school here, and graduated in 1968. I had a, 19, I had a, a 65 442. Wow. Yeah. Throaty engine, wasn't it? Yeah, it was pretty hot. and then we came back on 41, I think it is, and came back over here and took That's a little- a windy road. Yeah. How many cars were in the group? Uh, I think there's around 50. We're so, in a Rio. So we're riding, I do, can't because I, I can't tell you about it exactly. My friends have the Rio and I'm riding in the back. You're the guest. Yeah, we're the guest, my husband and I. Your so. impressions of Templeton? Well, it's a small, cute little town. I haven't had a chance much to look, but I'm going to walk outside and look right now. I love it. Enjoy. Okay. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. I got to find my husband. Hi, I'm Will Snyder from Penn Valley, California. We're here on a three-day tour with our uh, Horseless Carriage Club. And this is my wife, Paulette. Hi there. We're here. This is day two. And we have a 1915 Model T. And we've been to Morro Bay today. It was a great trip. And now we're on our way back into Paso Robles, coming through the museum. Oh, goodness. I'm retired. I needed to do something. So played with horses for a while, draft horses. Now we're in the horseless carriages. Is this a true partnership or are you letting him do this? I'm letting him do it. What it's do you his get out thing. Of it? I'm a quilter. So you how many you must have about a hundred quilts then? I probably do. Oh, <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Beach Boys Woody. I know. Hey. We do. So does it have a horn? Love it. Now that's a horn. 